how's it going? I am tired. I haven't had a really relaxing, calm day in a while. I've been pretty stressed for preparations for a trip I'm about to take, which I will get into soon. May even do a little vlog on that. But anyway, today I have decided to relieve myself of stress and just have a really nice calm day. It's already about two in the afternoon because I just wanted to take my morning really, really slow. And it's like 95 degrees outside. We're having a major heat wave in Los Angeles. So although I'm trying to fulfill all the autumn cozy vibes that I possibly can, it's a little tricky when it's this hot outside. But what I would really like to do is do my makeup, get a little dressed up, feel feel maybe a little good about myself, and then go uh, check out some Halloween and autumn decor, get a little fancy cozy, have a really cool day, um, and hang out. So let's go. hard to be aesthetic in 95 degrees. I'm trying. I Part of the reason I'm vlogging today is because I'm trying to motivate myself. Uh, anyway, I wanted to introduce you to this lovely boy who I just got the other day at Michael's Craft Store. I wanted one of these giant ass toads last year, but I was like, mm, can I justify that as a purchase? And I was like, no. But then I saw him, he came back, and I had to get him. He's giant, he's good, he's a good boy. He's my son, don't talk to us. You're fine. Halloween autumn decor at Hobby Lobby just because I felt like it was like good stuff but it's stuff that I'd seen before and I wasn't really drawn to anything so I just figured save my money on that. I did end up getting uh, some supplies for my Halloween costume. I'm going to be Fantastic Mrs. Fox. I'm going to be making an apple purse and I actually found this base at Target the other day and I thought it was perfect because I'm ultimately going to do a whole video on my process making an apple purse to be like one of the apples with stars on it, like in the movie. So stay tuned for that video. But I also wanted to show you some other things I got the other day, just so that this is still a little bit of a haul. Going with the theme of gathering items for my Halloween costume, I found this at Target. It was about $5 and I just thought it was like kind of perfect for the Fantastic Mr. Fox theme. I might try to take off the letters and redo it so it matches the font uh, in the movie a little better, but we'll see how that goes. The last thing I got for my costume was a set of fox ears and a tail and I'd been putting this off for a while just cause 
it feels like a weird object to possess <laughs> um but honestly i really like the ears i think they're like so cute and um i tried this on with my costume the other day and it all like worked really well like how i've envisioned it so um stay tuned for that video he's already made an appearance earlier in this vlog i know but just want to say hi to my boy we've been calling him trevor or Ryan decided that we should call him Trevor, uh, just like Neville Longbottom's toad. I might start making him hats that he can wear so he can really like get into the full vibe of the season. When I was at Michael's craft store the other day, I got some candles and they're on like super sale. So I figured might as well pick some up because I love burning candles all the time. It's just the coziest thing. So the first one I got is pumpkin pancake and this one's awesome. This candle, when you smell it, it, it's like you're taking a bite. It's like so intense. So if you're not into the intensity of that kind of thing, this is not for you. But if you are, this is a good one. The other candle I picked up is this Autumn Walk candle. And this one is really a very fresh scent, a very fresh autumn, uh, sort of like fresh leaves. I wouldn't say rotting leaves at all, almost like a brisk, bright day in autumn. And then the final things I picked up the other day uh, were at Bath and Body Works. It was the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Lotion and the Champagne Apple Honey. These were really the only two I wanted to get and um, partly because of the aesthetic, the plaid. I have mixed feelings about smelling like food, but I'm into it. Um, it really, it really feels cozy on this 100 degree day. I wanted the champagne apple honey as well, but I couldn't for the life of me find this travel size and I'm going to be traveling. So it took a lot of like looking through the bins until I finally managed to find this one. So I was really happy about that. And I just feel like they're kind of coordinated. We also got a fresh cinnamon brew. We'd gotten one last year, but the scent kind of like diffused entirely so I hung that one up uh, to make our bedroom smell like cinnamon and Ryan picked up some really awesome lights um, a purple and an orange one and the lights at night in the living room slash dining room area they give this awesome effect the most delicious moody Halloween vibe ever so that's all for the haul of this vlog I am literally sweating buckets so I think I'm gonna like take some of this off, cool down, and just relax a little bit for the evening. Keep the spooky vibes up as much as possible while sweating profusely. Like literally, I just got interrupted while recording with an emergency notice for all of Los Angeles County saying that we need to like chill on our energy usage for the next few hours because like the power grids are like going crazy because everyone has their acs on i don't i'm gonna try to like stick through not using it for at least till tonight when we go to sleep but uh yeah i'm gonna get cooler um and cozier and i'll see you in a little bit Just when I thought this vlog was done, I went to Target the next night and found this super cute cat plate, this cauldron plate, and these yummy Milano cookies. So I had to include them before this video was finished. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.